students welcome back to our channel so here in this video we are going to discuss the complete explanation of unit number 4 in the subject dbms which is having only for the system specialization students and this notes pdf is available in our telegram group uh, don't skip the video and watch till end. If you are having any further doubts, let me know in the comment section. Clear ma? So the first important question from unit number 4 is describe the concept of database security with suitable examples. So what is mean by database security? So database security will able to pro protect the database. Whatever the database system you are having, it will protect from unauthorized access. Okay. It will protect from unauthorized access. It will protect from misuse of data and it will protect from data loss. So, this is called database security. Database security is nothing about the giving security to your database. Database is something where you will store your information. Then what are the concepts you are having in this database security? Means first one, confidentiality confidentiality is nothing about the data is accessed only by by the authorized users like for example salary details will be visible only to the HR managers not for everyone in the organization that is called confidentiality confidential okay next one integrity integrity is nothing about it will protect the data from unauthorized modification okay so example preventing unauthorized changes to student marks Okay, once the student's marks is allotted, it will not be changed like that. So, that is called integrity. Next one, availability. Availability is nothing about data is available to users when required. Okay, if you want to use the data, the data we should be required like that. Next one, authentication. Authentication is nothing about it will verify each and every user before granting access. For example, if you want to log in, in a website, you need to give the username and password like that. Next to authorization. Authorization is someone who controls only database if you are authorized. Okay, only actions like that. Okay, so that is the uh, authorization next action control mechanism action control mechanism is rbac that is role based access model according to the role this encryption is nothing about converting the readable text into unreadable format to prevent the misuse to protect from the hackers okay next one auditing auditing is nothing about whatever the activities are securities you are having it will be uh, monitoring like that next one backup and recovery and physical security physical security is nothing but uh, protecting from uh, the damage or from the theft and backup and recovery will uh, get uh, the data if the data is lost for some of the other thing you will get back your data okay so these are the key concepts of this database security most easy answer and most important concept second one what is concurrency control and explain acid properties first one we'll discuss the concurrency control huh? concurrency, uh, concurrency control manages the simulations whatever the database while while maintaining the consistency this concurrency control will be able to protect that Okay, so there are many things. It allows the transactions to execute simultaneously and it will provide the problems like lost update or uh, dirty reads. Yes, next one it, it ensures the correctness and it improves the systems and it will give the timestamp techniques. So, these are the various concurrency controls you are having and the most important one. Then, acid properties A stands for atomicity. C stands for consistency, I stands for isolation, D stands for durability, atomicity, consistency, isolation and durability, acid properties, you need to write the full form of that compulsory, you need to write the full form. What it will do means it will able together, ACID together will able to ensure the data consistency and reliability it will protect the data it will be accessed by the authorized users everything clear so it will uh, execute the transactions it will uh, remains the valid states whatever the transactions are uh, executed independently and it will give the permanent or uh, changes are permanent that is called durable so these are the various asset performance most important answer and the third answer is what is serializability of scheduling and discuss looking and timestamp based schedulers so what is mean by serializability like serializability of scheduling so it produces the same result as serial schedule 
ओके वॉट एवर द कॉन्फ्लिसिटी और हैविंग इट विल एबल टू चेक दैट इट विल बी व्यू एंड री राइट द डिपेंडेंसीज इट विल बी एबल टू एक्सेस द फुल डेटा बिफोर द अनदर Yes, it will correct the data and it will able to understand the proper data to get the access easily. Okay, then what is mean by log based security uh, scheduling? Means it will do it will able to log the control access. Means it will be only shared for allowing only for the reading. It looks like it logs all our writing. Okay, and it will have the two phase locking seriality and it may lead to deadlocks. Okay, like that you need to mention it. Okay. in the examination point and the third one time stamp based scheduling means it avoids the deadlocks it will avoid the deadlocks and all the transaction based on the uh, transaction or uh, time stamps like uh, 1st january like that okay and it will uh, create the transaction rollbacks it will be helpful to understand in the time proper already yes so these are the very consistency things you are having in this things that is called time based scheduling and the last answer from unit number 4 is explain multi version and optimistic concurrency control schemes including database authentication and authorization first multi version concurrency control mvcc what it will do means it will able to maintain the version data in items okay it reduces the rewrite conflicts it writes the new version it reads the operations and old version it improves the system performance that is called mvcc clear ma multi version concurrency control then what is mean by occ that is optimistic concurrency control it assumes conflicts are rare it transacts the without logs it conflicts occur uh, transaction is rolled back like that it will be used and it is only suitable this occ is only suitable for low conflict environments okay because it will not have certain much security compared to the another thing and the last one is authentication and authorization authentication uh, verifies the user identity authorization will give the permission so both are important it will gives the database security and it will provide the uh, it will prevents from unauthorized data is so these are the various authorization and authentication you are having so advanced concurrency control and uh, uh, whatever the database access you are having both itself improves the performance okay it gives the security to your database etc clear so this is the complete explanation of this chapter ma if you have any further doubts let me know in the comment section all the very best for your examination as well as your preparation see you all in next video bye bye students